Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this beginner scripting tutorial series. Now, to start making games, we'll use Lua, Roblox API and Roblox Studio. So Lua is a programming language and with Lua you can write code. And this is an example of code. So if we copy this, we added more code. Now, code is contained inside a script. Lua is the language you use to communicate with the machine and it's important to understand it and know how it works. Think of the language I'm speaking now, English. I follow certain rules like the grammar rules, etc. Roblox also follow, ah, Lua also follow rules. And it's important to know these rules. Here we have the Roblox API. We don't need to know the Roblox API out of our head. So, for example, <coughs> we have part, and part is an object. So most things in the Roblox API is an object. So, if you click on part, it gives us more detail, like the properties. And later on with code, we can change these properties and also use some of the parts functions. Okay, now let's open Roblox Studio. So, go search on your computer Roblox Studio. Let's open it up. Okay, so Roblox Studio is what we use to create our games. So click on this exit sign if you see auto recovery. Now I'm going to choose in new, I'm going to choose flat terrain. Okay guys, so let's view the top here and click on view button. We're going to open explorer and properties. So this is the explorer window. You can click on this line and move it to the left or right. You can also click here on this property to move it up or down. And you can click and drag the window and put it in the different side. I'm going to place mine here and move properties down. So Explorer tells us more detail about our game. So for example, workspace, we have camera object, we have terrain, and we can add another object, which we're going to add a part. And objects can also be known as user data. So if we click on our object, the part, Remember in the API, I showed you the properties. Here we have the properties in the Roblox Studio. So we can change it directly here to any color or anchor it. Next, we're going to look at the output. So click here on View and click on Output. And the output gives us information about the scripts we wrote. And for example, go to view, we're going to open the command bar. So if we click on the command bar, this is a way we can directly um, execute code. So if I say print hello and I press enter, I'll see in the output the print. If I made a mistake and I didn't follow the Roblox rules for a string example, I'll get a red error message and this tells me my code failed. Okay, next I'll show you how to save your game. So you click here on file at the top. You can either save it locally, so save to file as, and choose a name and click save. Or you can publish it to your Roblox account, so at least it has a backup. So if you click on file, we'll choose publish to Roblox. Now you can choose a name. Let's just call it test2. And fill in some details and click on create. Now we've successfully published the game. Now how to open up a game you've just published. So let's close Roblox Studio. And inside your Roblox account, click on Create. And then just go to My Creations and you'll see here and you can click on Edit. Another way you can do this is search, go into your Roblox desktop app. Exodus and click on my games and you'll see your games here. 